there's loads of confusion, isn't there, over summer holidays this year, whether you're planning on staying here or maybe travelling abroad. Well, Simon Calder is here with all the advice you need. Simon, loads of confusion. I think everybody just wants some clarity. It's a situation that's changing all of the time, though, isn't it? It certainly is. My goodness, um, such chaos, such confusion. And look, I know that after that extremely powerful item, the tragedies that we've been hearing about, the amazing work that the frontline staff are doing in the NHS, it might seem a little trivial to talk about holidays and sitting in the sun with your mm, cup of coffee. But I think emotionally, it's really important for people to be able to escape or at least have something to look forward to. And I'm here in the lovely south of France. I managed to get out on Sunday, the day after the Foreign Office advice against all but essential travel anywhere on the planet was lifted. Um, but there's still quarantine in place. So uh, that's going to end on Friday for England. But for Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, um, there's exactly no uh, idea about when it might end or what countries might be involved. So still loads of muddle, I'm afraid. There is. So what about if you have booked your holiday, you're hoping to go away, but for whatever reason you cannot, are you protected? Well, it all depends. Generally, I'm afraid the answer is no. Um, there are, as your survey's been showing, an awful lot of people, um, millions perhaps, who have uh, decided to go away. They booked their holidays, as usual, maybe in January. And then, of course, nobody knew what, how the world was going to change. And there's a lot of people who are reluctant to travel, either because they're uh, perhaps in a risk category um, or simply because... Well, we've seen this morning news of, of local lockdowns springing up. They don't want to get caught somewhere else. If that happens, then it all depends on the sort of holiday you've booked. Um, if you booked a package holiday, you can actually transfer it to friends or family if you're not happy about going. You can call the company and say, well, look, can I postpone this till maybe September, October or uh, 2021? But I'm afraid if, like lots of people, you just book cheap flights and somewhere to stay, well, the um, airline is likely to say, well, tough luck, normal rules apply. Mm. And the hotelier might well say, look, um, the room's still here. The fact that you don't want to be here is not our problem. It's a really tough time for lots of people. It sure is. And you talked there about the survey that we did. Um, the question was, would you be comfortable getting on a flight this summer? Which, of course, you got on a flight to get to, to France. Only 22%, Simon, only 22% yeah. said they would be. 78% said they wouldn't. So that would indicate that a lot more people want to have their holidays here in the UK. And that is fantastic because obviously you know sure. the hotel business the whole travel business here has been very badly hit but again what what if things change what if there are these separate lockdowns or you find yourself not able to travel even within the uk well exactly it's a real problem i mean just in the beautiful uh, county of um, dumfries and galloway there's a whole lot of places where um, people are being told do not move more than five miles away um, the city of leicester of course it's very difficult and of course you've got to be aware all the time of local sensitivities now sometimes those are depicted very very stridently in some of the um uh, messages which have been displayed to drivers um, i believe heading north across the uh, scottish border from england Tourism does not open there until the 17th, forgive me, the 15th of July at the earliest. Um, but you've got to be respectful, particularly there's islanders in the Western Isles and Northern Isles who are simply not ready to receive people. Um, the same story in Cornwall. The county councillor there responsible for tourism said, we really don't like this quarantine idea because it's going to mean more people are going to be trying to come to Cornwall. It could mean more harm for our local people. We are very, very limited in our medical facilities. So even though, yes, it could be um, a great rescue for the very hard-pressed hospitality industry right across the UK, uh, there are problems. So if you were thinking, say you're a family and you're thinking to yourself, I desperately need a holiday. And I think most people feel like that right now, if yeah. they know if they can actually afford to, to do so. What would your advice be? Is it a question of just keeping on top of what's going on? Well, of course, you've got to follow the news at all times and see what the authorities are saying. I've spoken to lots of British families actually here in the south of France, many of whom have driven south. Now, obviously, that increases the risk that they are taking in terms of road accidents, but they felt more secure. 
And I must say, when you arrive here in the south of France, do you mind, Lorraine, if I show you quickly around market Please. time in, um, in Montereux? OK, yeah, um, so here we are. Um, this is the view that I'm having to endure with my uh, wow. morning coffee. Oh, it's um, it's uh, you know, just a normal, absolutely normal day here. Um, the Tuesday market is, uh, is taking place. Um, I'm trying to socially distance, but very few other people. Um, I can't see any masks being involved yeah. with, uh, with people. And it's just it's one of those things where emotionally, as we were hearing earlier in the programme, it's so important to feel as though there's something that you can look forward to. And honestly, you're here in the sunshine, you're living outdoors. Um, yes, taking uh, precautions. And yes, absolutely, 78% of people in your survey, I completely sympathise. If you think social distancing and passenger aviation are remotely compatible, well, I'm afraid that's wrong. But ultimately... You know, are you going to tolerate a certain amount of risk for a view like this? I am. I completely sympathise with people it does who look aren't. Fantastic. And I also accept that some people are, yeah. some people are going to say this is very, very irresponsible. But I think um, uh, you know, we've got to get travel up and working. Um, there's so many hundreds of thousands of people who work in what's a great industry uh, in the UK, sending us abroad. Um, I think it's time that we started to unlock and to live a little. Simon, are we, just wanted to ask you, are we welcome though? Are the British welcomed? I mean, do, did you, were you welcomed with open arms when you landed and I know oh, you yes. had the flight? Yeah, I, I mean, it's really funny. Um, at at uh, Heathrow, when I was flying out, um, the airline was saying, right, you've got to have all the um, you know, right forms, fill these in, um, you've got uh, quarantine going on. Um, it's really important, uh, but of course you get to uh, France, just come in, come in, no, no problems, no quarantine, no forms, um, just come and enjoy yourself. And certainly here, the welcome I'm getting is absolutely lovely. They really like people coming en vacances ici. <laughs> Simon, thank you. Thank you for you always cheer me up. You just always cheer me up. The man in the know. Thank you so so much. Enjoy the rest of your time in the south of France. Why wouldn't you?